The time has come. And so have I. Sorry, let's try that again. Couldn't help the memes. The time has come once more to play Elden Ring because I've been obsessed with this game for the past year and a half now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Umber here. And so today we're back again in Elden Ring, but we're doing something a little different So this time. So as you may have seen in my other videos, this is technically my second playthrough. Today... We're gonna be fighting Melania, but every time I die, I'm going to be revealing an embarrassing fact about myself. Uh, I have a big list of embarrassing stories, so when I die, I'll tell you guys all about it. So, let's get started. I'm running my more or less pure faith build, mainly fire, frenzied flame, but uh, let's give this a try. It's been, like, almost a year since I fought Melania, so, uh, let's see if I remember the fight. I pretty much was able to take care of this fight because I, uh, discovered the game's hidden easy mode at the time made a bleed build, but I've been fluctuating between builds because I am a cuck who downloaded the, the Grand Merchant mod, or is it the Honest Merchant mod? I get the two mixed up. I'm gonna watch the cutscene, though, for old time's sake. You know what, though? I'm wondering if I should have waited for the DLC to come out, because it looks like the DLC is going to, um, touch upon Mikola. And so I'm wondering if it's going to be something like, uh, the Artorias DLC, where if you kill Artorias before fighting Sif, you get a new cutscene, but I don't know. I also haven't played the DLC yet, so I can't really speak on it either. Wow! And I have never- shit, I was too early. Okay, let's give this a try. I'm going to lay myself bare before you go. Okay, we're you're not even gonna let me summon my mimic to your <gasps> Jesus Christ! Uh, fucking hell! I didn't even get a chance to <laughs> summon my mimic. <laughs> well, a promise is a promise. So. My first one, I'm gonna start things a little tame. Okay, so my first embarrassing fact about myself, I had no fucking clue what Papa John's was until I was about 12 years old. So, I live in Canada, right? And so, I was on the internet a lot younger than I should have been and was playing Halo on Xbox Live younger than I should have been. And a lot of my buddies were from America, and so one of the things they talked about, or one time during a conversation, they mentioned Papa John's, and I asked them, what the hell is Papa John's? And they just burst out laughing, because how how could you not know what Papa John's is, right? It's like one of the biggest pizza chains. Well, I was in Canada, I live in Canada, and so... I had no idea what Papa John's was, because at the time, Papa John's only had, like, a handful of locations in Canada. It's a lot more popular here now, but back then it wasn't, and so that became a little bit of a reoccurring j joke among my friend group at the time, that this Umbra guy doesn't know what the fuck Papa John's is. Okay, hopefully I'm able to summon my mimic here this time. <laughs> And hopefully I can summon in my buddy in time. Come on, 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 Go fast, go fast. That's the good thing about Blasphemous Blade. Baby. Can you let me heal myself, please? There we go. Now I don't have to waste my, uh, flask. There we go. Come on, bitch. Yeah, show me why you lost to Radon in the first place. Oh, I forgot she's immune to madness. This is not gonna be good. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh Jesus Christ. I should be moving forward, not backwards. Why am I struggling? I've done this fight before. Okay, so a promise is a promise. So when I was younger, I used a fake identity due to all of the horror stories that my mother filled in my head about online gaming. Stories about kids meeting up with their buddies online only to go missing afterwards, and so basically I was left pretty paranoid, so I came up with this whole secret identity thing, or I guess alias, where, I mean, I'm not gonna reveal my name to you guys and where exactly I live, cause gotta maintain some level of carefulness, but basically I had this identity where I was nine at the time, my name was Tyler Red, and I was about, uh, 
I think six or five years old. No, I was five years older uh, than I actually was at the time. So when I first made that persona, I was nine and I was 14. And it got to the point where like years later, it became harder and harder to keep up the facade because like I was 14 or 15 at the time and I was a bit of a late bloomer. Like my voice didn't really change until I was about 17 or 18. But I was like 14 or 15 at the time, but my persona was 19, and so sounding like a little kid was kind of hard to believe that I was quote-unquote 19 at the time. And I tried to excuse, like, I have a growth disorder, that's why I sounded like that. But then, eventually, I started to become more trusting and then just came clean, but it is pretty funny to look back on, and... Looking back now, I realize how stupid that was, but, um, alright, let's give this another go. I'm worried I'm gonna have to dig deep within the recesses of my mind to remember what other embarrassing stories I have hidden away. <laughs> Keep her busy. There we go. Boom, bitch! Yeah, just keep her busy. Oh god! Oh, I thought she was summoning her Ash of War at the time. Yeah. Ha, uh, you can dodge that. Okay. Oh, shit! Come on! No, 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 no! Oh, I didn't know it would stun her. I didn't think magic skills could do that. God damn it. Okay, just keep her busy while I just spam my Ash of War. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Is she gonna do that? spinning move thing. Okay, yes yeah, she is. Yeah, soak up all the hits. What? Oh, it was a delayed attack? There we go. Alright, first phase down. Not gonna embarrass myself just yet. And now she's asleep. It's done, right? We're all done? We- I can save the embarrassing stuff? Right? R right? Wait. Oh no. Oh, so that ass can fart. I I'm sorry, what? Ah uh, yes, the forbidden butt plug. Mate, I've played Mass Effect Andromeda, I and after being excited for it, I think I know what true horror is. Okay, uh... Oh! No, 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 no! I thought I could dodge that. Okay, so, the third embarrassing fact about myself. Funny enough, I actually have a scar below my left eye. And it would be cool to pretend and say I'm a badass because I got it in a knife fight from somebody who pissed me off. Like, I have my battle scars from Nam. But do you want to know the real story of how I got it? So the truth is, I actually got that scar when I was about four or five because I was in my grandfather's office at the time and I was really big into Smash Bros. Like, Smash Bros. Melee was the first game I ever played and I kept on thinking like, oh, there's got to be stuff like Smash Bros. in real life. Like, I want to go to the thing in Smash Bros. Like, I thought video games were a little bit of real life at the time, and so I thought I could be just like the characters from uh, Smash Bros. And one move I thought was pretty cool was Sheik's Up B. You know, that move where Sheik, like, you know, kind of does like a backflip and teleports upwards, or maybe it's a front flip. I thought it would be really cool if I could do that, and so I tried to do that while standing on uh, the desk chair by my grandfather's desk. And I ended up falling forward and cutting my the underside of my left eye on his desk. I am not joking, this is actually how I got that scar. <laughs> like, my mother and my family at the f time found me and they were horrified, like, you know, because they just thought, um, they, they thought that I was going to lose my eye, and I was, I just cut myself really badly, and they had to take me to the hospital, and I was in pain, like, I was screaming the whole time, but one of the things I remember is seeing myself in the mirror with the circle of blood under my eye, and I thought, I kind of look like Pikachu. 
I was a stupid and a weird kid. And now I'm a stupid and weird adult. Honestly, I don't care about my runes right now. Oh, right, I forgot she can dodge that. Oh! Okay. Let's try this again. Gotta run, 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 when I was about nine years old, going back to stories when I was nine years old, my first commentary video on my channel, because like I used to have a bunch of videos, but they got deleted because I was hacked by a former friend of mine. But anyways, I did a lot of different videos that were all really shitty, but my first commentary video was a Modern Warfare 2 live gameplay video where I had, I'm pretty sure it was a dollar store mic that was, um, hiding within, like, um, my mom's office equipment, and she let me borrow it, and so I did not know anything about video editing at the time, like, I'm pretty sure I used the same, uh, editing software that my Dazzle had. Remember those old capture cards that costed, like, I think $60, I think it was at, like, uh, Canada Computers? Anyways, so paired with the bad quality and the dollar store mic, I pretty much destroyed people's eardrums. And I'm pretty sure my KD was like uh, 2 and 20 in that video, so this was like a domination match on, I think it was Rundown? One of the older maps in Modern Warfare 2. There was the part of this video where I spotted a claymore, and I emptied an entire magazine into that video and missed every single shot. <laughs> And then I proceeded to throw a Semtex at it, and I managed to blow it up, although myself with it. And somebody saw that and posted that video on GameFAQs, and my video got noticed, and I got like a thousand views on it, but I did not get noticed in the way I was hoping for. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, my KD matched my like-dislike ratio on that video. And people were, like, messaging me on Xbox Live telling me I suck or I can find a Claymore. And, I mean, I was a kid at the time, but honestly, I kind of deserved it because of how bad I was. <laughs> God, that was a bad video. Especially with what I know now. Ugh. Oh no, no, ah! Oh, I gotta react quicker than that, like, for real. For real, for real, I'm gonna no cap. I hate being a zoomer so much. There we go! I don't know why that was so hard to dodge at first. It's all about timing. Okay. There we go. Ah! Oh my god. Am I really going to be able to kill this boss, like, and only reveal, like, uh, what is it, like, four stories I had? Oh shit, I have Scarlet Rot. Oh my god. Maybe I made a mistake using my Mimic Tear. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. I did not think that would work. Oh, no! Uh... <laughs> oh, man! So, a lot of the times when I was younger, I think up until I was like 10 or 11, I hung out with my cousins, like, a lot. Like, I was very close with my extended family and my family. And, um, so I would go to my father's place, which was like about an hour from where I lived, to spend time with him every other week along with my brother and I and we would visit my aunt and cousins a lot and we spent a lot of time with each other so whether or not it was just visiting their place or fun activities in you know where we were living at the time or when we went up to the cottage like it was a lot of fun and I idolized them and I hung out with my cousin's friends too although they were older than me like I think my 
one of my cousins, the one I looked up to the most, he was about five years older than me at the time. He was, I think, like, let's say, for example, if he was seven, uh, or I was seven, he was about 12 or 13, and they were, like, wannabe gangsters, or they call themselves ganks. I wanted to act cool like them, so I dressed like them and not gave a crap about anything like them. Well, maybe not give a crap probably isn't the best words, considering how... In one of these instances, we went to Laser Quest, which used to be a really popular chain of laser tag places, but it got shut down because of COVID. Anyways, one time I went to Laser Tag with my cousin's friends and him, and uh, probably not giving a crap is probably the poor choice of words, because I certainly gave a crap around that time in the middle of the match, so I basically shat everywhere in my pants right in the middle of the game, and my father had to take me out and help me get that sorted out in the bathroom, and it was definitely not my proudest moment, especially when I looked up to them and wanted to impress them, so if um, uh, shitting your pants in a laser quest wasn't on your bingo list then for this video, then um, I'm not sure. I, I can't wait for you guys to see what else to expect. Boom. 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 Oh, uh, yeah, you stunner. Here I am looking so confident with all these cool as hell madness skills, and I'm just running out of... FP faster than uh, Blizzard is running out of excuses and um, PR campaigns to um, take the heat off their back. That sounded a lot funnier in my head. And come on, there we go. Okay, we're wanna we're get out of here. Uh, I missed the timing on that. Okay, so. For a short little while, I sang a little bit, although this, a lot of the times when I was younger, I would like sing songs I enjoyed, whether it was from video games or from Minecraft parodies of songs when I was younger. I was really into Minecraft too. Um, although I had no proper training whatsoever, so no singing lessons, no experience singing in assemblies or anything like that, other than, you know, singing the national anthem, like, um, you know, right as the assembly started, but whatever. But in grade 12, I kind of wanted to learn more, and I wanted to um, get some experience. And for any of the Yanks watching this, uh, grade 12 is senior year. So I took a vocals class, and my group and I had prepared to sing Carol of the Bells. And I remember hanging out in a Discord call with my... FF14 FC at the time, like some really good friends of mine, and I stepped away for a moment and didn't even realize I was still on the call, and I did not have pushed the talk at the time, and so as I was singing like, hark you the bells, da 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 da, like they heard me, and my t uh, monitor was um, putting their voice through the speakers, and when I accidentally knocked some, or accidentally tripped over my cable and I heard them speak saying, uh, you okay there? Nice singing. And I could hear their snickering and I was so embarrassed. <laughs> like, I had no idea I was still on the call and basically they just heard me sing Christmas tunes. Oh, I left the call so fast. <laughs> Man. But yeah, I'm going to take a little break here, switch builds, and we'll get back to this.